Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Today we're going to take a look at another canister stove. It's not necessarily a compact canister stove and it's not a remote canister stove. It's just a little bit different. Stay tuned, you guys are going to want to check this out. When you review a lot of stoves like I do, you get pretty excited when something new comes in the mail, something just a little bit different. Now this stove isn't newly released, but it's not always easy to get, and it's only become more readily available in the U.S. market recently. Let's check out the GS370 US from Snowpeak. All right, we're gonna look at basically the bipod stove from Snowpeak. It comes in a less than exciting case. We'll pull it out. It's actually got a couple of different pieces. That's everything that comes with it. Dimensions are seven by 12 by 5.75. Once it's opened up, I'll show you. Weight is 8.2 ounces. It's made out of stainless steel, aluminum, and brass. Comes from Japan. It comes with a separate piezo igniter. Okay, right here. We'll weigh it real quick. All right, stove, 7.9 ounces. Throw in the piezo igniter, 8.4. So 7.9 ounces mainly, because you probably wouldn't take the piezo igniter with you, but that's what we're looking at as far as weight. Let's put it together and then I'll show you some of the interesting parts about it. It is a bipod stove, so it only has two legs as you can see. And you take this extra piece, all right? It's got a little protector. Take the protector off and you're gonna go right into this area. You're just going to screw this in until it seats and tight. Now you can see something, we're missing something. And that is another piece of the puzzle, which is the canister. Put your canister on, it's nice and level. You will notice that there are two uh, positions for these legs to be in. This is your standard four ounce or 110 ounce canister. Okay, just by the way, we'll open these up. You can see how this opens up. Let me back you up just a tad. There we go. So, as I said, if we take this canister off, we extend these out to the second position. Just like that, do the same with the other. Now it's gonna be taller, and it's taller because you can use it with a larger eight ounce or 220 gram canister, just like that. And that is pretty nice. You can use either one of the two canister sizes, and it's very convenient. So that's a very unique design. You have the bipod, and then your third leg is made up by the canister itself. I think it is a really slick design. I also want you to notice on this um, pot stand that it will hold really small diameter things. Now you wouldn't do this, but this is the actual smaller canister and it fits on there perfect. It will hold a very large variety of pots and importantly, very small pots. This is the lens cap, for example, of my camera. It's about two and a half inches wide and it fits on there, no problem whatsoever. So you can use any large pot. We're gonna use a GSI kettle that I got recently. I'm trying out to review, uh, just giving it some use. Let me show you guys what the flame pattern looks like in the dark. And then we're gonna do a standard two cup boil test. I'm gonna rotate it around so you can see what it looks like just a little bit better. every angle for you. Let's check out the flame pattern. There it is. That's turned all the way up. One thing you'll notice is that I'm turning, turning, it's really not affecting it. It's still not really affecting it. And then you start, so the, the actual play is not very big. Now you can control it way down to almost nothing like that. Super, super low flame, but it's not very much travel till you get to the high flame. All this is kind of just useless. It would be really nice if you had, oh, turn it off. It would be really nice if you had more control, but you just don't. Let's do one quick thing. We're gonna disconnect this and reconnect it just to make sure that we don't see any significant difference in control. We should not because I have not before, but just in case y'all ask the question, is it connected correctly? 
once again, all this travel. Now, it's a waste because you have all that travel and it doesn't make a difference, but you still do have very good control of the flame itself. There you go. Now let's boil some water. Okay, let's go. I did weigh my canister, so we'll see how much fuel it takes. Let's get this started. Nice and centered. It is all the way up. Let's see how long it takes to get these two cups of water to a boil. Well, we are getting close very fast. All right, it's boiling. Two minutes, 29 seconds. So 229 for a boil of two cups. Pretty darn fast. Let's measure out our fuel real quick. Okay, so quickly, eight grams, eight and a half grams of fuel for uh, two cups of water to a boil. Not too bad for this stove, pretty in line with most of the canister stoves that I test. Y'all know what time it is. Let's talk pros and cons, and we'll start with the pros. High quality construction, innovative design, very small footprint and pretty lightweight for what you get. It has excellent flame control, even though you do have to fiddle with it and it has a lot of play, it still has very good flame control. And the fact that you can use multiple canister sizes, whether it be the smaller one or the medium one, that really helps. If you want to take it out on trail, you don't have to take the bigger eight ounce canister. You can use the four ounce and still keep the weight down. From the standpoint of cons, it is a little larger than your standard footprint from the standpoint of a canister stove. There's no piezo igniter, which is a big bummer. I really don't like the carrying case. I wish it had more of a solid carrying case. It also has no preheat tube, so you can't use it in super cold weather, and it is fairly open, so you're gonna to have to use without question some kind of a windscreen. Almost all these stoves work better with some wind protection, but I think this one might be a little more susceptible to the wind than other designs. So what's my verdict on this stove? I really like it. It's great because it's something completely different. You don't see anything else like this out there. I haven't seen anything like this bipod construction. I have gotten my hands on literally hundreds of stoves over the years, and the first thing that I notice when I handle this stove is quality. It just feels high quality, and there's nothing about it that seems cheap. Everything moves smoothly, everything clicks into place, it's just right. Super high quality, which is what you would expect from a Japanese company like Snow Peak. And when you look at it, you would swear it has to weigh more than it does, but it really is lightweight. And if you're looking for something a little bit more, a little bit larger, a little bit more powerful maybe than some of the smaller canister stoves, especially something that will allow you to have a larger pot on it without problems, this is a real winner. So do any of you guys have this stove? Do you use it? Do you have any input? I use these stoves for several months before I do a review and try to give you the best quality review I can, but if you guys have any experience with it, make sure you leave it down in the comments. That way everybody learns as much as possible. Do me a big favor, guys, and it really makes a difference. I know I say it all the time, but if you can hit that thumbs up down below, really helps spread things across YouTube, and it really helps the channel out a tremendous amount. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscription button and make sure you hit the notification bell and you'll be the first to know when I release new videos. Got several more stoves like this coming up, really continuing to concentrate on new stoves here on the channel. You guys love it. I love it. What's not to love? As always, guys, appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Stay tuned for more videos soon.